Uh, what was the head injury, if you don't mind uh, sharing? So we, <laughs> bruv. So I was walking down a street in Essex. Actually, I may as well fucking say what it was. I don't really care. Um, if anyone knows where Elm Park is, I was in Elm Park and I was walking down from the station, like, like across this park. I get into like the middle of the park and somebody fucking runs up behind me, fucking slams me in the back of the head, like proper sucker punches me in the back of the head in it. I'm like obviously straight down on the ground. Luckily, I sort of stumble onto this grass, right? Otherwise, I would have been fucked. So I stumble onto this grass, and then like five guys just start jumping on my head in it. Like proper, just start jumping on my head. Fuck knows how long they jumped on my head for. But like eventually, they like pick me up. Head for. But like eventually, they like pick me up, fucking kick me in the back of their head. And when I got this one kick in the back of their head, it's obviously what caused the head injury. I suddenly fucking had this huge rush of adrenaline, and I was like, fuck. And I managed to just get up and fucking run. I ran out of the park, like, the same way that I came. I come out of this park, and I, I turn left, and I'm like, I see this woman walking down the road as well, and I'm, like, bleeding everywhere, like, my face is fucked, and I'm, like, saying to this woman, like, you know, help, I'm, like, crying, I'm, like, fucking help me, I'm, like, still running. And she just kind of, like, laughs and, like, walks away. And I'm like, what the fuck, I could have been hallucinating, fuck knows. But, um, basically, I just kept running, and I see somebody's house with a car outside the front of it, and I was like, fuck this. I just hoped to, and prayed that that house would have somebody inside of it. So I just stopped slamming on the fucking door, saying, call an ambulance in it. I'm like, fucking yelling, like, call fucking ambulance, call an ambulance. And I just like, pass out. And um, I got resuscitated in the ambulance, um, taken to hospital. Um, and then, like, the hospital was like bare shit. Like, the local hospital was like awful, like a dive hospital. Didn't even check me over or nothing. So I never found out the extent of the injuries then. I didn't find them out for like two years. Or like a year and a half, um, and then, um, but yeah, weirdly enough, like after they just kind of like put my face, like you know, back together, like you know, put some glue on like, some of my face, and like you know, make it all look, like you know, they're like, okay, sweet, you're, you're fine, no, no fractures or anything in my, in, luckily somehow no fractures in like my skull or like my jaw, so, some fucking hell. Um, I don't even know if they fucking X-ray me to be honest. That's fucked. And then the police made me come out and try and look for the guys at like fucking five in the morning when I'm still fucked. Was it Queen's Hospital or King George's? Fuck, I, I'm pretty sure it was Queen's Hospital. Is it? Oh, bruv. I'm pretty sure that police were so dumb, they didn't get their fingerprints at the scene. They didn't take a picture of the guy they found with my fucking bank card. Um, even though it wasn't even motivated by taking my stuff, because I still had, like, my camera in my bag and shit. Like, you know, it was bare weird. And, um... Yeah, like basically because of police negligence and they, they didn't do all the stuff and didn't bring any evidence to the courtroom, they just got thrown out of court. And then the fucking the the poli like I put in like a complaint and like eventually I had to have like a meeting with them and then like six months later when I was out in America, I was just randomly given like ten thousand pounds by police compensation. Which is a bit fucked as well, seeing as I literally, like, they knew that I'd sustained injuries that would last me the rest of my fucking life.